Mackey with searchmedia.com and Nassau County, Florida is getting a refurbished rescue vehicle. What they're going to do is they're going to take this chassis completely out from underneath the box. In a minute, I'm going to take you on a tour with Antonio of the custom truck shop that's going to actually do the work and we'll go step by step and take a look at what's going to happen to Nassau County's truck. We started cutting the aluminum over here in this area, mm -hmm. and uh, from here it will go to this area right here, next next down, area down, and uh, that's where we start assembling the the truck in the, in, in the next area right here. Okay. This is our uh, shear. We make all the bends in the aluminum. Whatever we need to be bending is, is in this area right here. Wow, that's a big tool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's a big one. <laughs> Uh, we got two two sides. We got a 14 and a 12 is a full size. This is 12 and right here is a, is a 14 feet uh, long, 14 feet long ambulance. What well, they're gonna be in the front, so you can put your reinforce in the front. And uh, mind your flat bars, okay? You can mind your lights in the front, so it's very important. So this is the front of an ambulance, right? The, the rescue, yeah. The lift where actually we will, um, all this reinforce for the compartments. And uh, we make sure all the bottom is welded right properly because that's pretty much what they're going to hold the truck, the mounting. This is the mounting part, so. Okay. And that Those holds it to the chassis. It holds it to the chassis, so. Um, and this is all the wiring for their emergency equipment, and lights, all, and that's all the wiring. That's a lot of wiring. <laughs> yeah, it is a lot of wiring. So. Drilling the, the, the wires for the harness. Yep. Okay, so this is what ours is going to look like. We got to everything around, and we got to go back and, and call call these holes over here around. Yep. And fix every little thing the body got. We got to fix and we got to re, re spread the, the interior compartment. It's pretty much the inspection before it goes to paint. That's the mounting lift. So, right here, we pick the body up, and like you, you see, we start to install all the lights around. Yeah. They already got all the wiring inside. Whatever that needs to be done on the chassis part, it will be done in here. When, when they paint the doors, they will light lane over there and like you see they got a, a foam so the doors don't get scratched. Yeah. The diagrams that show you where the lights go and, and everything goes and on the target will does everything all the paperwork over here so we start actually now clear. they're starting to look like rescue vehicles again. It doesn't not have the floor on it yet. This one over here, they were ready to install the cabinets, the insulation and cabinets. First, you, you do the, uh, the flooring. Mm -hmm. And after the flooring is done, you start install the insulation. Cabinets back inside in the truck and uh, get a new floor on it. They pretty much started doing all the electrical on it. <laughs> they started doing all the trim, install the windows. And uh, the flooring is already done. It's already ready to go on the truck. It will go in the front. front.
We're getting a new chassis in Nassau County, and this box is going to be completely refurbished. They're going to take the lights off, they're going to take the doors off, they're going to take all of the equipment outside of it, and they're going to refinish everything on the inside and then remount it to a brand new truck. Now, by refurbishing the box, it's going to save the county taxpayers 20 to 40% over buying a brand new rescue vehicle. <laughs>